structure, but in the final, I will test with this guy. I don't mind, I can practice uh, with you one more time for this structure, but I cannot practice with you for this guy. I don't mind, I practice, mm -hmm. but if I practice with you for this structure, I will test you this guy. Not even one. First question, I will tell you, we will test you specific in this guy, this structure. That's the first question, I can read it for you. How many company are containing isomers? Does the formula C5HNO have? That's the first question in the final. You guys got this. That's the first question in the final. Yeah, I, I, I want to wrap it with you with this guy one more time. Like I, like I told you, so this structure has half, half meal, which means still double bound. Either this guy, Aldehyde, this is Aldehyde, yes. Compound. This is the compound which I use objectionable to describe the whether that old high palatin. This is the compound which is responsible for the odor of the red or black pepper, yes? Smells so pure compound smells very, very bad, high palatin. I won't ask you the name of this compound, but when you see this, you should know this is a heterocyclic amine. Yes? I won't guess you the name. Yeah, but when you see this, you should know this is heterocyclic amine. How about this one? Amine, yes? This is amine, yes? This is a heterocyclic amine or no? The, the name of this compound is named by IUPAC. This is the simplest or smallest aromatic amine, which is anonym, which is a dye to make a lot of colors, such as blue jeans. Like I said, anything related to your major, related to your our, our daily life, we will test you. We will test you. This compound. Hydrogenation reaction. I, I will summarize one more time for you because we will have a lot of hydrogenation reaction in the final. Hydrogenation reaction. We use hydrogen gas as a reducing agent. 
and we use the either nickel, palladium, or platinum as the catalyst. This is the hydrogenation reaction. First one is regular alkene, include the cyclo one. Let me put the top on here for you. The reaction is positive, means the reaction will happen. Any benzene in here? No reaction. Aldehyde, a reaction will happen. Ketone, a reaction will happen. And remember, I summarized this reaction many, many times for you. But uh, you need to see which compound is our starting material. For example, if you know which one is aldehyde, which one is ketone. Of this reaction will also happen. Carboxylic acid. No reaction. Ester. No reaction. The product for the first reaction, just remove the double bond. It just remove the double bond, you will get the point. But you do need to understand the chemistry, because we add two hydrogen on these two carbons. Which means double bond is gone, but for the hydrogen, we don't need to draw. That's why I said you just remove the double bond, you will get, get the credit. Okay. The second one, no reaction, no product. In this guy, the, the product is an alcohol. alcohol. This one. This one is also an alcohol. This two no reaction, no product. So if I change the reducing agent to sodium borohydride, sodium borohydride, let me change it to, I will just erase this here, erase this here, here. I just erase everything here. Sodium borohydride. This is a mild reducing agent. Mild reducing agent. Hydrogen gas is also reducing agent. This is another reducing agent. First reaction will happen. The answer is no. Why the answer is no? Because this guy is hydride donor. This is oxide here, negative charge here. Here, double bond means electron, electron, electron rich. Electron rich means also negative charge. <coughs> negative charge and negative charge, they hate each other. That's why I know that. They are all electrified. They are all nuclefied. Love, love positive stuff. They are all nuclefied. Love positive stuff. This guy, of course, no reaction. This is very stable, uh, super stable structure. This the reaction will happen. This is the product. Product is the alcohol. Ketone, same thing. The reaction will happen. The carboxylic acid, no reaction. Ester, no reaction. This is about all the reduction reaction, which you may see in the test. Glycosidic bond, let me do this for a glycosidic bond.
I use this general equation many many times. This is about the formation of hydrogen acetyl and the formation of acetyl. What is the glycidic bond? The structure of heavy acetyl is a sugar. This is the glycidic bond. This bond is the glycidic bond. If this is a sugar. We will use this many, many times. Many, many times in this coming test. A lot of questions we need to use this. Formation of hemiacetyl, formation of acetyl, and the reverse reaction. Reverse reaction. Many, many times. We will use this many, many times. And I, I may also tell you for the, the mechanism questions, which is extra points here. We will test you this. If you want to get that extra points, we will test you the mechanism of this one. Formation of hemiacetyl or formation of acetyl or the reverse there. <coughs> Same mechanism. Yeah. But I cannot tell you which compound, which, uh, 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 which one is the starting material. I cannot tell you. Okay. And for if I remember correctly, I explain you this. I remember correctly, uh, when we discuss the antioxidant chapter, this is a Fenton reaction. This is iron. This Fenton reaction will produce hydroxide radical, another radical here. If you add these two reactions together, iron, iron will cancel out, which means for the, it's hydrogen oxide will produce at least two free radicals. We, we won't test you the, the Fenton reaction, but the, the, the base of the question is something like this. If, uh, if the patient um, has anemia, which is the, the patient needs to take the iron supplements, yes? If you take iron supplements, if you have a lot of iron in your body, iron may react with hydrogen peroxide to form this radical. When can we produce hydrogen peroxide? When you have infection, we have infection. Yes, it will produce a lot of hydrogen peroxide. So when you have infection, when you are also an anemia patient, we, we cannot or we don't want the patient to take more iron supplements because it will produce a lot of radicals. This radical is very bad radical. Understand the question or no? Yes. Okay, if any patient, if anemia patient, normally we give the anemia patient iron supplements, yes. But in the meantime, maybe this patient also has fever, which means infection. We cannot, or we don't want to give them iron supplements anymore because if you have a lot of iron in the patient's body, it will produce a lot of radicals. This radical is very bad radical. It will initiate a chain reaction. Clear? One more is... Thank you. 
this is esterification. Esterification. Carboxylic acid reacts with alcohol to form an ester. The reverse reaction is hydrolysis of ester under acidic condition. I may tell you right now, we won't tell, we won't test you anything about the mechanism for this reactions. No mechanism. Yes, yes. The hydrolysis of ester under the basic condition. This is not a reverse polarity, only single element here. This is hydrolysis of ester under the basic condition. We will test you the mechanism. Only two mechanism questions. One is the hydrolysis of ester under the basic condition. Another one is the formation of hemiacetyl or the formation of acetyl or reverse reaction. Same mechanism. Okay, so we will, yeah, please do understand the, the, this equation. We will test you in different ways. Yeah, different ways. For example, the formation of fat This is a esterification reaction, yes? Hydrolysis of fat. This is hydrolysis of an ester. Right? Yeah, we just Choose different R group, choose different R prime group. This is hydrolysis of a fat, same as this guy is hydrolysis of ester under the basic condition. This is the structure of one amino acid, yes? Amino group is right here, carboxylic acid group is right here. We change the R group, we'll get different alpha amino acid. I remember I explained to you, uh, uh, I think last five weeks. So only non chiral compound, yes? If R equal to A, this is only alkyl compound because here is an H, here is an, another H. Otherwise, this amino acid is a chiral compound, which means this guy is the only guy which is not chiral amino acid. This is the simplest alpha amino acid. Simplest one, smallest one. What's the name of this amino acid? The name is glycine. For example, if R is carbon, yes, it's here. I change this to CH3 here. This is chiral. Why this is chiral? Because amino, methyl, hydrogen, carboxylic acid group, they are all different. That's why it is chiral. <coughs> Which means the glycine is the only alkyl amino acid. It's only one amino acid which is not chiral. Okay, positive or negative amino acid. Based on different pH number. For example, we will give you a pi. 
at the eye condition, that amino acid is neutral. Neutral. No extra uh, positive charge or no extra negative charge. And the eye net charge is zero. Means neutral. We fill up pH. Is less than pi, the amino acid will be positive. If the pH is bigger than pi, amino acid will be three different amino acids, if we use three different amino acids such as A, B, C, they will form six different tripeptides. Yes? They will form six. That's the six. The order is different, sequence is different, primary structure is different. Okay. When we talk about the primary structure or the protein structure, the primary structure of a protein is the sequence of amino acid. That's the sequence of amino acid. What is the second amino structure? Structure is alpha helix and beta sheet. That's the only two options for the segment structure. Alpha helix is yes, this shape, is yes, the alpha helix shape. Beta sheet is one layer, another layer, side by side. The reason is hydrogen bound. Hydrogen bound. What is the tertiary structure of a protein? That's the three dimension structure of a peptide. That's the tertiary structure. What's the reason? Or what is the, the stabilizing uh, uh, interaction for the tertiary structure? The one is hydrophilic, hydrophobic interaction, hydrogen bonding, salt. Salt bridge. I remember one more. Diasulfide bond. Yes, diasulfide bond. Very good. Diasulfide bond. Five different interaction to stabilize the tertiary structure. Same interaction for the quaternary structure. Five. Repeat one more time. Hydrophobic. Hydrophilic. Hydrogen bonding, salt bridge, and diasulfide bond. Anything to disrupt or break this interaction is it about the denaturation. Denaturation. For example, why mercury is toxic? Because mercury, we have uh, uh, the salmon got. We have mercury in the salmon, yes? Mercury will react with this disulfide bond to form this bond. Then the tertiary structure of disulfide bond is disrupted. It means the tertiary structure is gone. The protein is dead. That's why the heavy metal such as silver, mercury, or lead to they are toxic because this tertiary structure is disrupted. The order of carbon cation. The order of carbon cation.
possibility of the order of column chart. That's enough for you. This is the, hopefully you understand, this is a chart here, this is a chart here, this is a chart here. They are all carbon cations. This is tertiary carbon cation, secondary carbon cation, and the primary carbon cation. The order of the stability is like this. That's the chemistry base of the macrophonic fluid. That's the chemistry base for the macrophonic fluid. We use the least theory to determine the bond angle. For this carbon, the bond angle is 109 because the shape is tetrahedral shape. Tetrahedral shape. This carbon, same thing, least theory, four electron groups, tetrahedral shape. The bond angle is 109. This carbon, this theory, this carbon has three electron groups. The bond angle is 120. The shape is trigonal pi. This carbon bond angle this carbon bond angle this carbon. We test you the least cell. Just count how many electron groups. What's the bond angle for this one? 109. How about this one? 120. Why this is 120? What's the answer? The macrophonic floor, we just mentioned the macrophonic floor. For example, I just give you a little instruction like this. What's the product for this one? And what's the product for this one? This is the product. This chloride hydroxide will add to the carbon has less number of hydrogen. This is the macrophonic floor. This is hydration there.
you are see by the similar question like this. Also see the very similar question like this. Very simple. The reason is we are test we are testing you the selectivity. Which is selectivity? So the first one, the answer is We need the trans product, not the cis product, sin addition. <coughs> cis product. You make it in the like this. Cis product. These two guys are the same. <coughs> For the, the second one, Second chromium will add from the opposite side. Hydration of alcohol. It's also the same thing as here. We are testing you the liquid selectivity. What is the product of this? One? This is the hydration of alcohol. The hydration means lose water, lose one molecule of water. have two options. One option is the first one, second option is this guy. And the answer is this one is correct. Because this guy gives you more substituent, more branch, which is stable structure. It's the same bound for the peptide when we use two amino acids combined together. Peptide bound. Okay, so this may have hydrolysis. Acidic pentane. And the basic pentane. <coughs> okay, the 
first one, the product is same thing. Ammonium, positive charge. Because this is acidic condition. condition hydrolysis of amide and the basic condition product is carboxylate plus amine hydrolysis of amide and the acidic condition the product is carboxylic acid plus uh, ammonium ion Ammonium. Now very similar to hydrolysis of ester. Very, very similar. Omega-3 fatty acid. I spent many, many times. Yeah, because omega-3 fatty acid is very important for your major, your machine of science major. So we will ask you, we will give you a structure. For example, we will give you a structure. We will ask you, is this a uh, one, two, three, is this uh, omega-3 acid? Uh, question like this. If your structure will ask you is this uh, omega 3 acid or not? If yes, explain. If no, also explain. Combustion reaction. We will test your combustion reaction. I remember I uh, give you all the steps on the board. I uh, give you one more time. Step is get, get the, the formula from the name. We'll give you a name, which is very popular, very uh, 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 important compound for this class. I cannot tell you uh, which one. First, uh, the first test will we test you the four hydroxy three methoxy benzaldehyde. Yeah, because the question will test you, question test you in the first uh, meter. This time we'll just change another molecule. I don't think we'll test you the same molecule. Well, just pick another one. Quite a balanced reaction. the volume of carbon dioxide and maybe something else. For combustion reaction, the product is always carbon dioxide plus water. Of course, this simple mass based on the stoic ometry. Yes. Yeah, I give you an example. So of course, if I give you an example, which is not the one you will see in the test. For example, 
Avoid combustion. Clock. So we give it a name, which is clock, yes? First step, get the, the, the formula. The name is given propane. What's the formula of propane? The question we test you in the uh, first midterm is this by four hydroxy three. Four hydroxy three muscle bends out high. That's the question we test you in the first midterm. Uh, of course, we will change this to another compound. Not this one, not this one. So first step, you get the formula. Second, write the balance equation. <coughs> the product is carbon dioxide and water, yes. Balance, three here, four here, five here. This means what? Means one mole of Propane will react with five moles of oxygen, produce three moles of carbon dioxide, and four moles of water. This is the balance equation. I will write one, five, three, four. Use this ratio to do the simple math. Like I said, this means one mole of protein will produce three moles of carbon dioxide. If we ask you, oh, what's the volume, or what's the moles of the carbon dioxide? If we combust three moles of protein, that's three times three, yes, nine more. The very important step is the first step. We will give you a structure or give you a name. You need to figure out the Correct formula. Uh, which compound? That's, that's the million dollar question. So I emphasize that compound many, many times in this class. I told you we have a few uh, star molecules, yes? This is one of the star molecules, yes? We have at least two more star molecules for this class. I just pick one from another two star molecules for this question. Any idea? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot tell you. Tell us. Only, you have two options. Yes. Uh, we only, I, if I remember correctly, we only explain three uh, uh, star molecules for this class. So this is the one. I told you we won't test you this one again. I just pick one from the other two uh, star molecules. Let's do this one more time. And the oxygen. This is a hydroxide radical. Hydroxy radical. Hydroxy radical. I need this thought. It means this is a radical. This is a water. The marketing is all three points. If you understand, you just copy and paste. Yes. Uh, you will have a lot of questions. Looks very, very big molecules, but we will only test you very tiny uh, functional. Here, one more time. This is a superoxide vessel. Same thing, the product goes here, plus
I remember when we discussed this, and they asked me to for this question. The answer is very, very simple. You just remove, remove the dot. You just remove the dot. You will get the point. You just remove the dot. You erase the dot. Any question? I think we're almost done. Let me check one more time if I miss anything. <laughs> PCC is a mild reagent <coughs> to form aldehyde. If you continue, use a lot of PCC, still same compound because PCC is a mild. But if you use a strong oxidizing agent, you will get carboxylic acid. Same thing if you use the Jones agent at the beginning, you will get carboxylic acid because this is very strong. this two couples of acid because there's no space for you. You cannot make this another farm. There's no space for you. <laughs> no, I erase this. Two carbon acid, not ketone. No reaction. Cop two. 
tool. We use COP tool for that particular agent. Yes. Benefit agent will react with reducing sugar. What is reducing sugar? This is free aldehyde group plus adjacent hydroxy will form carboxylic acid plus blue red precipitation. Simple aldehyde, no react. Simple ketone plus no react. So I will emphasize this one more time. So this is general equation. General equation. We will just change R to another different group. As a lot of questions, we will test with this and this one. And also please study the five homework. We have five homework and the two uh, previous mission. Uh, like I always say, please cover the answer. Try to figure out all the questions by yourself. If you understand all the questions, I guarantee you will get a, at least A minus. If you understand all the questions, like I said, you cover all the answers, and if you figure out <laughs> question will be like this. If you see this structure, I ask you how many hydrogen bonds when this compound in the water? Or how many hydrogen bonds will form between this structure and the water? Hydrogen bond in size. We explain this in the next class. Yes? How many hydrogen bonds in size? With water. What's the answer like? What's the answer for hydrogen bond in size? I will ask you, circle all the hydrogen bonds inside. And the best thing. Now please do study the, the homework plus the previous test. Yeah, you will see a lot of questions are very, very similar. You will also see some very big molecules, very huge molecules. But the chemistry is right here. This is the chemistry. Okay, that's all.